Hello, welcome everyone to this new episode of Proactive Show. My name is Michael, I'm your host, and today uh, it's my gadget review. And um, I entered the world of photography, and uh, up until now, I've been using only this beautiful camera here. So my iPhone, uh, my iPhone 6 Plus now, as uh, my main camera, and it's really a good camera. But I wanted to explore more photography, learn more photography, especially I have two young daughters, so I wanted to capture better pictures of them. And also when I record these videos, and um, I mean these videos are, are, are totally amateur, but some videos, I, I want to record some professional videos for, for Nosby, for, for other sort of stuff that I'm doing, and I wanted to check if I can get better videos with, uh, with a professional camera or semi-professional camera. So this video is um, intended as an, an unboxing experience for a person who's entering the world of photography, just like I am, who doesn't know a lot about photography, about lenses and about, you know, how actually, I mean, how you take good photos, who's just starting out, wants um, a, a, new, a, new, um, a new toy, a new gadget, a new uh, photo camera, and wants to learn um, I mean, which to buy. So I want to, you know, I want to explore why I bought what I bought, I want to show you what I bought and um, and explain why this is uh, and uh, I'm sure that there are lots of people like this there watching this video like just like in my situation where they want to maybe go with a you know semi-professional uh, uh, camera to learn new tricks and to learn you know but take better pictures of their kids and 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 whatnot but they don't know where to start. So um, what I did, I did some research on the internet, of course. I asked the people in my Nosby team, and we have a few guys who know a lot about photography in my team. So I asked them uh, about stuff, what I should get, uh, what I should not get, what is just too much, what's expensive, what is you know, the best value for money. This is what I came up with. So I bought a Canon EOS D, uh, uh, 100D, 100D. And uh, in the States, I think it's called Rebel One. I'm gonna unpack it and I'm gonna just show you why I chose this particular camera. So I got, I got this set with two lenses, with a, a typical one and a, um, a, and a tele uh, a lens. So a, a, a lens where I can get a, a stronger zoom. Now, important thing about this one. I got the, the version with uh, uh, IS, so image stabilization and STM. These are the better lenses. You can get the, the 110D, 100D with, um, with different lens, lenses, but these are a lot better. Um, I mean, everybody says that. And the stellar lens, is, it's, especially for this one, it's really important to have the image stabilization because uh, when you're trying to get a picture of uh, something that is really far away, you know, uh, you're, you know, you need the stabilization. Just trust me, okay? So, um, so this is what I did. I, I, let me unpack it for you. So when you unpack it, it's, uh, first comes the, the big lens. Mm. There it is. There you go. And uh, there it is. The, the big lens. And it's pretty big. Okay. There you go. It's pretty big. Especially if you put it, it's really, really big. And it comes with two covers, the cover here uh, to uh, the main cover. You see it's ESSTM. And then the cover in the back to protect it here. So um, so this is the first lens I got. We have to dig deeper to get the camera. So let's, let's try to adjust that. There you go, the box with the camera. First some you know manuals and stuff. Boring stuff. We don't need that right now. Who is the manuals anyway, right? Especially if you don't know nothing about photography. So I think I'm gonna do read the manual. Uh, so there's a strap for your camera. Nice. And then you have the USB cable, uh, charging cable because you get a charger. And then you have the battery as well. And you have the small lens. So. Let's unpack it here. Here is the small lens, and as you can see, it's the also yes, um, STM lens. And here's how they compare. See, the big one and the small one. 
There you go. And um, now, why did why why did I get the 100D camera? Because you will see it now. It's teeny tiny. It's really small. Just uh, there you go. It's a very small camera, very handy camera with a big uh, touch um, touch screen, three and a half, uh, no, three three inch display. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's really it's really light. It's really it's 400 grams. It's really light. There's a cover here, so um, it's really fantastic. It's it's uh, holds very well. And this one, this particular camera, 100 D, um, has a has pretty modern uh, you know image processor, as far as I understand it. Uh, records HD in 24 frames per second, so perfect records video. And what they told me, uh, and what I read on the internet, is that these lenses, the uh, IS uh, STM, they are very good for recording video. So uh, I'm gonna get, um, so I'm gonna you know try recording a video with this as well. Okay, I did turn it around and see that's the camera, and let's try to open it up. And now uh, it's important to you know this is the part here, you see, and uh, it's also here in the uh, you know you should put them together, right? There you go. Ha, huh, my camera is almost ready to shoot. Problem is, I uh, need to put some battery inside. So let's try to just do that. Uh, there's the thing to open the battery. Mm -hmm. So before I open, uh, I put the, the battery inside. Um, uh, let me uh, tell you what I also got with the, with the camera. So as I told you, I want the camera for um, to take pictures of my children and also to be able to record uh, cool videos with a really you know deep uh, you know good uh, image quality. So um, my uh, friends uh, told me about this additional lens. So um, with the uh, light one one point eight here. Um, so um, the well the, the gist of it is that it's it's going to take better uh, videos. And pictures inside with uh, less light, it's gonna you know just attract more light, as far as I'm, I understand it. And uh, but but you cannot you know regulate the zoom like you can, you can with this you know with this uh, lens. With this one, it's it's uh, you can't regulate it. But it's pretty cheap. It costs just a, a, little, a little over hundred bucks, so it's not really an expensive lens. But from what I get, is that mm, it's. Pretty here. It's pretty light. It's pretty small, as you can see. And um, uh, here, right. So it should give me even better videos. Mm -hmm. My friends told me that they got really good, good, um, good quality pictures with that. So that's why I got it. So now uh, you know from zero to three. <laughs> so I, before this video, I didn't have any camera. Now I have one camera, 100D uh, Canon, and I have three. Uh, lenses. So the small one, the, 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 the standard one, and of course the, the big one. And um, is it over? Um, when you start with photography, you also need some additional, you know, stuff to it, of course. So uh, I got the, the additional lens, but uh, so you need the. I mean, you have one battery that comes with the uh, with the camera, and then you should get, I think, a second one, an additional one, additional battery. Here. Small, nice. So the idea is that uh, you never run out of power. The thing is that uh, you, you want to keep taking the pictures, then the battery is dead, you just replace it with the other one, you charge the other one, and you use the other one. So you should get, you should have two batteries. The one that comes with the camera and the one that you are going to get. Again, uh, just a little over 20 bucks, so it's really not expensive to, to get one of these. How are you going to record stuff on the camera? You need the SD card. Uh, and especially for this, you need a quick SD card. So I got SanDisk Ultra uh, SD card, 32 gigabytes, pretty fast, 40 megabytes per second. Um, so the idea is that uh, you could record uh, HD videos uh, very easily with that. So I got, and again, I got two of these because uh, you want to have one in the camera and one as a spare. 
in case you're not, uh, out of um, uh, place on one card, you can put the, another one. You don't have to wait until you just download the stuff to, to your device. Speaking of downloading stuff to your device, uh, I also got this uh, Lightning uh, adapter to, to SD. This, this only works with the iPad, which is just stupid, I think, of Apple. Apple, hello, this is stupid. I have an iPhone uh, 6 Plus. I would love to be able to uh, copy this, uh, copy SD uh, stuff to my iPhone 6 Plus. Please enable that in some firmware upgrade or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I'm, as you know, I'm iPad only and I have my iPad as well. So, so uh, in fact, I'm recording this video on my iPad. So um, I'm gonna use the use this to copy my stuff to the iPad directly to be able to work with the pictures later. So when I'm on the go, when I'm traveling, I have my iPad, I have my camera, um, and that's uh, that's how I'm gonna just copy the pictures. Speaking of my iPad, uh, you also need a bag, of course. So I got a bag. So this bag is really cool because it's it's actually uh, it's from Case Logic. It's a the the SLR bag with an iPad compartment. So here I have an iPad compartment. I can put the iPad here, and then here in front pocket I have the place to put the camera. So it's really pretty neat. And then I have a place here up, up there. So it's a really pretty neat bag that I'm gonna just use when I'm on the go, when I'm traveling with uh, with kids, uh, when I'm traveling uh, with my uh, camera and my iPad. So this is, going, this is going to be my iPad bag for camera. The last part of the puzzle is a tripod. So I got a basic tripod also from Hama. It's really also pretty cheap, um, and but it's it's pretty 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 good, pretty great. I'm not gonna carry it around, of course. But if I if if I go somewhere by car, I'm gonna just put it in the car. Or if I'm gonna use it in the studio uh, uh, or in my home office, like I could use it here, I would use it uh, here. That's pretty much it. That's for this video. Uh, again, I'm entering the world of photography. I'm going to try to see how I can take better pictures. And that's why I decided to go with this uh, camera. This camera costs around uh, $500. And uh, with the lenses, it costs uh, around a uh, uh, $1,000. So it's a, it's a very you know, affordable entry-level uh, camera for, for somebody who wants to try professional photography. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good enough to actually, you know, give it a try. If I want to see how it goes. I want to see how I can uh, work with this and what kind of pictures I can take with that. Mm, and, uh, you know, compare it to, to, to the pictures that I do with my, uh, you know, traditional iPhone 6 Plus. So, anyway, thanks very much. If you have any questions about the camera or if you could, if, if you can explain, you know, things to me uh, or let me know where I should just read on to learn more about it. Just do let me know, you know, you know, brag, let me know. I, I'm really a beginner in this, so I, I, I'm just getting started. So this is what I got. This is, this is the, these are the accessories I got. These are, uh, this is the, um, the, the camera I got. I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to see how it goes. Thank you. Bye-bye.